Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 13th of July 2018 and the time has just gone 11.15 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is the S&P 500 and I've chosen the S&P 500 this week as uh, yesterday and today the market has broken above the March highs. Uh, so this, this is an indication we could be in sign for, for further gains seeing as we've created multi-month highs. Now, taking a look at the price action uh, throughout 2018, the market had a record high uh, in, in, in January after a major, after a major sell-off and a bit, of a, a bit of a bouncing around in February and March. Um, the market started to, started, started to push higher uh, in April. And ever since, ever since April, the market's been a classic example of an upward trend. And an upward trend is defined as a series of higher highs and higher lows. So if you take a look at this area here, at this leg here, uh, at the beginning of April, the market pushed higher, creating a higher high. Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and, and yet again another higher high. So we're clearly moving in, a, in, a, in an upward trend. And if the market does continue on to push higher from here, we could be looking at targeting gain levels not seen since the beginning of the year. Um, taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram down here, as you can see that as the market has been pushing higher in recent sessions to go on to hit a recent multi-month high, we can see that the positive momentum is actually increasing. So as the market is pushing higher, Positive momentum is actually increasing, so momentum is with the, the bulls and with the buyers, so it's confirmed the upward trend. If you do manage to retake the 2,800 level uh, on the S&P 500, we could be looking at targeting uh, the late January high of 2,838, and if we go beyond that, the next level to keep an eye out for will be the all-time high of 2,877. So there are the upside targets. Uh, as you said, we, the market is currently in a class example of an, of, a, of, an, of an upward trend. So if we do see any moves to the downside, that, that could be an opportunity for buyers to step into the fold. If we do see the market drift lower uh, on the S&P 500, areas to keep an eye out for would be this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes to play at 2,740, or this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average, which comes into play at 2,711. Notice how both these markets, we saw both these, in, these metrics, these moving averages, we did actually see a lot of consolidation in or around those areas. Um, and if they've acted as kind of support in the, in the past, particularly the 100 day moving average, it makes it more likely that they will act as support in the future. If you do manage to drift below there, and if you do take out the, uh, the, the, late, the late June low of 2690, the next year to keep an eye for would be the 200 day moving average, this red line here which comes to the play a few points below that at 2,685. And a size of a move below the 2 day moving average could signal a, a, a change in sentiment. And if you do manage to drift below there, keep an eye out for um, the late April low of 2,655, which is this price area here. And if you go below that, uh, that will be a pretty serious warning that we could be looking for further losses on the S&P 500. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.